YouTube. What's up, guys? Welcome to another video. It's your boy, and with an exclusive right here on YouTube. GG. Yay! GG was hanging out with us, but I guess we're not cool enough. We're gonna talk about something that I have experienced now playing Immortal Empires for the past couple days, and you know, uh, put my my toes in the pool, dipping my my fingers in the pot, you know. Getting a little taste. Mm. And I was most excited to play Reichland, uh, the Empire, just because that's the... From Total War 1, that's the one I've been excited to play. We are the Sons of Sigma. Which, you know, <laughs> I can pray and hope all I want, but I don't know if we'll ever get Stormcast Eternals until another game. So, maybe Total War Age of Sigma. But, alas, poor Yorick. That's not what we're here to talk about. I'm here to talk about the Reichlin campaign and just the fact that it is... <sighs> annoying. So as you're playing Reichlin, you've got your diplomatic authority, and that's great, that's fine. Imperial authority, whatever it's called. And if it goes to negative 10, everyone declares war on you. That's fine. But... Fealty seems to not matter at all, which, if I remember correctly, Fealty was kind of a big thing in Warhammer's 2, Mortal Empires campaign, but maybe something happened while they were changing the different stuff they made, uh, the, it not matter so much to Immortal Empire, but Fealty, I've had zero Fealty with a lot of, a lot of the different lords and sub-factions of the Empire. That's not a problem. But the moment one of them declares war on me, okay, and then I don't sue for peace, or, you know, which, you know, if I ask for peace, because I play on hard difficulty, it's minus 15, and I have to give them 40 grand to, you know, be like, okay, okay, here you go, to appease them. So what do I do whenever Hoshland declares war on me, I go up there and I take their land and kill their lord. Oh, well, because they declared war on me, that's a minus one. And because I finished, I, I smacked their bottom like the little child that they are while I'm trying to deal with, you know, uh, a billion other things. Todd bringer, I go and spank him in front of his mom and say, no, no, then that's another minus. That happens three or four times, plus these random events. I'm at minus 10, 90% of the time, which also affects the campaign itself, being with a leadership debuff, a control debuff, a uh, growth debuff, you know? And it doesn't ever give you an opportunity to be like, okay, well, because you killed a Norskin tribe or whatever, now, diplomatic authority goes up. Or, you know, you beat uh, the Lord of Chaos from Nurgle, whatever, uh, the Scottish guy. You beat him in battle, you wipe him off the map. That doesn't go up. I get prestige from it, but then I have to wait for these random events to then get diplomatic authority from my prestige. Or, I burn my prestige hiring mercenaries or doing whatever to save to get fealty. So it almost feels like you don't care about the fealty, you only care about the imperial authority. And then, I, but once you get to a certain like strength level, whenever they've only got like one or two settlements left, which by the way, how are you supposed to get those seats of the elector counts to get those special units without being able to confederate? I don't even have the option to confederate. It's just not allowed. I've been waiting for a confederation for Balthazar Gelt, because I like that lord, and he helps me out a lot whenever you've got him and Karl Franz on the same team. But, for some reason, no, no. No confederation here. So I don't know if I need to have 100% uh, imperial authority, and then I can get a confederation. I don't know the specs. But I'm just sitting here with my thumb up my butt, wondering what the heck's going on. 
having to worry about, you know, oh, I wonder whenever you, the citizens are going to uprise and declare war on me, you know. Balthazar Get has one settlement left, and I have sat there and defended it this entire time because I want him. I don't want him to die and then, like, lose the legendary lord. Everyone else can die. That's fine. But Balthazar, you know, I don't like that he's he's not confederating. So maybe it's something wrong with they just didn't put that in. Because I know that in the Orcs campaign, as Wazog, the, the great green prophet, he can't confederate with Salvage or or Savage Orcs, even though he's a Savage Orc. But he can confederate with other Greenskins. So maybe he's, you know, don't know what's up with that. Also, when the hell are we going to get Iron Jaws stuff? Because, you know, I like Black Orcs. That's cool. But Iron Jaws are way cooler. So I really hope we get those in or someone comes up with a mod. So, you know, I like the idea that they're doing. I like the, the Immortal Empires itself, you know, I'll, I'll say has been like an 8 out of 10. Other than like tiny quality of life things. The in-game scenarios have been fun. The campaign itself doesn't seem hard. I mean, granted, fighting orcs as humans has always been, you know, they're just, they're bigger, they're stronger, they're better. Us Umis, and a 20 stack of Umis that aren't using artillery or uh, whatever in a straight up, you know, base to base fight, you're gonna lose a lot of the time. But Carl Franz, Damn, Carl Franz can clap cheeks, dude. And it's kind of scary. I don't know if they made him even stronger than he was, or if he's always been this strong, but I don't remember him having that much of a freaking meat salami sandwich ready for everyone who's gonna step up to the plate. Just <laughs> Insert Taco Bell gong sound. So if you haven't played, Immortal Empires, I definitely think you should give it a try. If you have Xbox Game Pass, you can literally play it for free. If you have uh, Total War Warhammer 3 and you haven't tried it, definitely take the time and you enjoy strategy. It's definitely one of the best times I've had on a Total War game in a long time. Granted, the last couple campaigns of whether it be Total War 2 and the vortex of uh, Electric Boogaloo, that was kind of eh. Uh, but the, the Vortex or the, the, the Rifts and Ursan and all that stuff. Great concept. Terrible execution. I didn't really like that. I didn't really play it that much. I played, beat it one time, and I was done. But I will say that demons seem very powerful. Uh, still, Zeech with the new Chaos Lord and uh, Slanesh with his... Giga Chad, Demon Prince, you know, they're very fun f to fight in the sense that they're not fun to fight. <laughs> I've got my booty hole handed to me a couple of times. So to wrap it up, play the game, experience it yourself. I highly recommend Stamp of Approval. Subscribe and comment. Tell me what campaign I should play next. What campaign you guys have been playing. I might try it out. But I'll see you guys on the next one. Deuces.